Gotham Goose top dog around here. Off without my help. If Batman doesn't return soon, I know all bloody hell's gonna break loose. This is Stuart Allen, and you're watching Krypton Chronicles. Hi, Yvonne. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So you played Batwoman. So tell me, how did you uh, prepare for the role? Any research? Well. This is some, because this is the first time that she was animated in this series. I really heavily relied on the script because it's the, it's the first time. So, you know, you come into a room and I was uh, supported a lot by the director and everybody else, like the team who puts this all together. Um, and it was a super fun process. You know, we were in the booth and we played around a lot with different lines. Uh, and and I, it was a very relaxed atmosphere. Um, I, I came to understand down the line, in, I mean, more specifically in New York when we premiered this a couple weeks ago, that there's, a, there's obviously a lot of pressure surrounding something like this uh, because it is such an iconic character and everybody right, right. has a particular expectation as to what they think should be included right. in, in something like this. So hopefully, you know, we've, we've done it justice. All right, all right. Um, so I've been asking everybody, um, so what do you think about Batwoman using a gun and using skills? I mean, she uses both, but do you think she really needs it, or, or why do you think she uses a gun and does karate? I mean, this? she kind of has that attitude of, you know, I'll do whatever I want, and I'll be whoever I want, and I'll do it whenever right, I want. Right. So I feel like that's, you know, the gun thing sort of comes from that. Like, you know, that's, she just kind of doesn't care. She just does what she wants. Um, right. Although I don't know that it's necessary for her. She seems to be pretty well equipped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With other skills, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, a, well, I mean, it's not as bad, you know, as, as Wonder Woman having an um, invisible airplane and like, but why she flies, you know, why does she need one? But right, right. I mean, but yeah, I mean, maybe it's just another weapon for her to use. And, yeah. um, so you think she's totally um, independent, operational without Batman? Uh, I mean, I think that she's been, you know, that's her beginnings. That's definitely where she started. Um, I think the nice part about this is that they sort of create their own little family at the end. You know, it's, I mean, it, it is one thing. She's, she's great on her own, and she right. she obviously is uh, adept and, and is able, you know, to be on her own. But how much nicer is it to have a team at yeah, the end of the yeah. day uh, and be part of uh, an extended family, you know, which is maybe what she was looking for all along. That's interesting, yeah. Um, so, do you think we'll see Batwoman in her so own solo movie? I don't know. It would be great if yeah. they did that. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. All right, Yvonne. Thank you. Thank you very much.